Uh, when you go around the tower, there are very high tech robots literally just sweeping a corner. <laughs> they can't program to do, do anything else. Well, we just have these robots, and you know, we're gonna send the organic things out to die and have the robots sweep the corner. Ah, uh, look, hey, it's a very clean corner. Very. Pay attention. Creepy weirdo. I would like a strong, powerful woman to protect me. Mm hmm. He'll fight for America. Yep. Poopy Square, the playable characters podcast. Hello, everybody. Welcome to level 183 of Playable Characters Podcast. My name is Brian McGinnis. As you know, as you are sick of at this point, I'm sick of myself, everybody. Aren't we all just sick of everything in these in these trying times? <laughs> That's every commercial on television right now. Um, hey, except mine, because I'm the Robitussin Bear, if you guys didn't know. It's playing again on TV. Check it out. If you see the Robitussin Bear, go buy some Robitussin honey. I get $7,000 every time you do. That's not true. Don't believe it, but it is fun to, to see me on TV as a bear. My daughter thinks I was dressed in a bear costume, which I'm not. So did my aunt. So a little sad. A little sad there. But uh, hey, everybody, it's October. We're having a good time. Closing in on episode 200. It's coming 17 weeks away. What is that? Fuck February? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, everybody, we have a fun guest today. I'm very excited for this. It's a very mysterious guest. Uh, it's from one of the most popular, overrated, what did I say? Overrated games ever. No, it's fine. But this guest is very interesting. I'm so excited they decided to actually have time to to come on the show because they're very busy dealing with guardians and and travelers and things like that um but uh we have with us today a ghost from destiny how are you uh, hello how are you oh good should i call you sir entity ma'am what do i what do i call you whatever you like <laughs> do you have a name i'll call your name um often my guardian calls me little shit get over <laughs> here but you know i actually nice. prefer frederick oh frederick yes Nice. Every time I hear Frederick, I think of Frodrick, like Young Frankenstein. Have you seen Young Frankenstein, Frederick? Oh, many times. <laughs> oh, good. It's a classic. In the in the hundreds of years waiting for my Guardian, I have gone through many movies. Let's get let's get let's get it. Well, hold on. Well, there were many movies hundreds of years ago, but but I think I think I know what you mean. Uh, yeah, you just kind of have to sit around. Is that right? Until you know, or like, yep. like, like how does that work? Until I find one, <laughs> you know, <laughs> just. Hovering over the Cosmodrome, just hoping yeah. to find a body. <laughs> that seems a little grim, a little gruesome. But I mean, there, there, I, I assume, is there a certain one you have to find? Or after, like you said, 100 years, are you just like, fuck it, I'll just take this one? Like, is that how it works? Or is there a certain specific guardian you need to find? It depends on the patience of the ghost. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> ghosts are just like, I need to get to work. Yeah, and right. Some people, you know, they're like, you know, I've been floating around for 900 years. What's another hundred? That's that's true. It's a lot of time, man. A lot of Netflix, though. A lot of movies you can go through. Yeah, as you said. Okay. I have Netflix and chilled all over the place. <laughs> that's nice. You're very chill for a ghost. We we think a ghost like uh, me here. We think a, like I wasn't sure if you were like a ghost, like with the bed sheet over your head type of thing. You're not one of those ghosts. No, but I did one time put a little sheet over my head and fly around the tower and and try to scare people. But everyone was so jumpy that it went into lockdown. Oh, I'm so sorry. That that seemed like it was a, a, a fun prank. Was it Halloween or just just for shits and giggles? No, it was just a Tuesday in March. <laughs> yeah, okay. I figured it'd be funny, you know, out of nowhere. But it turns out a bunch of people with heavy weaponry don't like things out of nowhere. I see that. That's that kind of makes sense. Yeah. All right. What's um? They said before your your guardian calls you a little shit, which isn't very nice. What's like? What's the weirdest thing they've? ever asked you to do or what's the weirdest thing you've ever seen them do is there anything like that like are they mean or are they usually nice they seem kind of kind of dry most of the guardians i don't know like yeah there isn't much talking almost like no one wanted to pay someone to say anything but you know <laughs> they, they keep to themselves a lot but they get shot at a lot so they're very stressed and they'll sure. yell at you and whatnot or they'll yeah. make some quip and they expect you to be like ha ha good one <laughs> so you tried oh so so they want you to kind of, kind of, uh, what's the word like? Uh, validate, yes. Yeah, sure. Okay. Like, can they make that jokes? That is half a ghost job just to validate the guardian. What is Just your be job? like, nice shot. Oh, <laughs> I totally thought we were going to die there and killer one liner, sir. 
<laughs> okay. What what is your job? Like, are you just trying to? I know you try to like, tell them where to go. I guess for the most part. But is there anything? And you kind of revive them, right? I or you... resurrect them from <laughs> the dead. Yes, I wouldn't just throw that to the side. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. I was thinking of. Yeah. So you resurrect. So that's kind of cool. I mean, I wish kind I, I, of. That's very. Can cool. you resurrect someone from the dead? I cannot. Can you resurrect like a human like me? Or it has to be like the special type of guardian. It has to be my guardian. Okay. What's your what's your guardian's name or like how'd you guys meet? <laughs> my guardian's name is Borick. Borick? Yes, Borick the Warlock. That's like that's a pretty cool name. So they have yeah. mag- magic powers and everything. Yes. They're All a right. nice rounded type of character. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I, f- I think my I think my character is not very good because I die very often. Are you a hunter? I don't even know. Because <laughs> those like a... hunters, yeah. they love running in with their stupid capes, but they have zero HP. I, I think that's probably me. That I think I should probably. I'm more. I'm more the uh, whammy kablammy running, running gun type of thing. Sounds but... like a hunter to me. Okay, I should. Should I just switch? What What's the best class? What do you recommend for someone like me then? Uh, Titan. Titan. A little slower, but lots of HP. That's like me. Very defensive. <laughs> real me in real life. Really... <laughs> yes, you seem quite defensive in real life. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll I'll take a look at my my loadout. Is that what they call it? I don't know. Um, I'm mostly just in, por- in charge of you know encyclopedic knowledge, validation, and resurrection. Yeah, yeah. the resurrection is a good one, and you can't do it all the time, though, right? Or can you? No, if we get too separated from the light and the traveler, I can no longer res- resurrect anyone. Right, the traveler, which is yep. what again? A giant ball that goes through space, <laughs> spreading light that everyone wants to destroy, and it hovers over the final city in Earth. Right. So that that is a is it a planet? I don't know. Okay, I don't know. It seems like a like a moon or a planet or something. I'm sure there's ghosts out there that are much nerdier than me that know exactly what it is. <laughs> so you're one of the cool ghosts. I'm a cool ghost. <laughs> I spent my time on Netflix not doing research. Seriously, yeah. I mean, what do you got to do? Just resurrect. You got your potions, or I don't know how it works. You're, yes, you're... as long as I resurrect, I feel like I'm doing my job. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But now, I wonder why they call you guys ghosts. Because you, I mean, you look to me, you just look like a little metal, not little, but you know what I mean, like a metal thing. I mean, you float. Oh, okay, floating. well, you just look like a defensive <laughs> fleshy thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. You're right. Um, but I still don't understand why, why it's called ghost. Because we can see you. I mean, we bring people back from the dead. I don't know if ghosts here do that, though. Maybe we just have a different definition of ghost in our world. Oh, why don't you go get one of your ghosts and we'll talk? I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't have one. I wish I did. Um, That's what I thought. My I'm buddy... sorry. I'm being a titan right now with all this defense. <laughs> Seriously. Let's go. This, this is an open, open and free and safe space uh, I'm podcast. just not used to someone talking to me this much without asking me to beam them to their ship or, you know... What's that alien? <laughs> could you beam me somewhere? Uh, if you had a ship, I could connect you to it and have you kind of like poof into it. I would love to poof somewhere. I've never poofed. <laughs> I don't know. I'm yeah. so sorry. I've heard it's amazing. <laughs> it's... But as a little metal thingy, I don't understand <laughs> the exhilarance. I'm sorry. You're so... I understand. What... I, I, I apologize for calling you a little metal thingy. Uh, that is, You are so much more than that. I'm sorry for calling you fleshy. Uh, that's It fits. Um, my friend TJ wanted to know what's Zor, the arms dealer, really like? Is that his name? I say X U R Zer. Zer, sorry. What's he like? Uh, hard to keep eye contact with. All those is... weird little tentacle things coming off his face. Yeah, he's um. All these games have an arms dealer. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they all, they, well, and like, like we had the merchant from uh. I don't know if you know the Resident Evil uh world. We had, what we you had, buy and what you selling, guy? Y- yes, we had him on um, a while back, and you know he's just got—he looks kind of similar to Zor. He's got the cloak, he's got the weird face type of thing. The um, terrible business acumen because they hide from their customers. Yeah, the other guys just dude, the, the, the merchants usually right, like he hide, but he'll find you. Like he'll he'll go up to you and be like, "Hey, come here," you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, what what is all these guys? I don't know how it's like one guy's got the monopoly on all this. All this cool tech and cool merch. I don't know how he does it, and I don't know how he stays in business. He <laughs> hides from people. But do you buy stuff from him, or you tell I your don't, guardian? But yes. You you. So that's why maybe he gets fancy ones that make him look like a goat. 
A goat? There's one with like ram's horns on it. A gun or, the, or like his outfit? That's a helmet. Oh, that's there is a gun cool. with a lion's head on the mouth of it. I would go for something like that. I believe it's called Galahorn. <laughs> Why not? That seems. You know what? I would want something. I would like. I would want something with a cool animal face where the bullets come out. Well, or my, the, or my lasers, whatever it is. That's a Galahorn. It's yeah. got a lion's head that's open. Its mouth is open on the end, and the yeah. rocket comes out the mouth. Yeah, I can fuck with that. that you were kinda... definitely a hunter. <laughs> yeah, okay, um, is that is that is that like an epic loot or something like that, or what do they call it? Uh, it's uh, mythic. Legend- I, I, I'm trying to remember because it's like legendary. It's the gold <laughs> one. Yeah, I think everything I have is common. Is that good? No. <laughs> okay. Have you ever played a game where common is good? <laughs> I wear like a pair of Nike socks. That's like my armor. I think for my guardian, and I, oh well, then you're definitely gonna die. <laughs> yeah, I know. I got. That I just, probably I'm doesn't not... even get a color. That's one of those blank backgrounds. It is. You know? It's just like a white cloth. That's what I have. Woof. Plus one armor. Plus. W- oh boy. <laughs> you know. Oh it'll, boy. Because it'll soak up the blood once I get my feet chopped off. Oh good. Right. At least, at least you're not a messy death. <laughs> no, that's why I have all the cloth. Yeah, but it doesn't help. No, I bet it doesn't. Yeah, I gotta you get need, better at this game. You need to get the... There's a wolf pelt that you oh. can wear. Is that good? Yeah, it's pretty good. We had Star oh, Wolf on a... Static thing. Yeah, we had a Star Wolf on a couple of weeks ago. He's, he, he, he doesn't like foxes. He says they're much better and superior to foxes. Oh, well, that's until we turn both of them into ar- aesthetic armor. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah, who's the, who's the superior one now, I guess? Right. I have um, blue alien wizards with me. Yeah, come on, you can't beat that. Yeah, um, you know what, I, what? What I wanted to ask you the um, the chosen sounds like a really nice title with a lot of responsibility. So each of your guardians, or is it all of them, or is it just yours called the chosen? I feel like I hear that word a lot in your worlds. All of, if you're a guardian, you're chosen. Mm. Okay. Essentially, like all of us, they kind of it's the, if there's a thousand people. There's like a hundred guardians, and okay. those are the chosen. Ah. And you like to believe that your guardian's the best of the chosen. You're the chosenest, the choosiest. <laughs> right. The most chosen. You're the choosest. Wonder chosen. Sorry. <laughs> I'd like to think of my guardian as Jewish. <laughs> yeah, that's good too. <laughs> the, ch- the chosen people. All right. Um, you sound a little bit. I mean, I wanted to, like, did you know? I mean, you mentioned before they didn't want to. There's not a lot of talking in the game, but in the first one, there's a lot of talking by a little guy named Peter Dinklage. Oh, yes. 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 Was that you? That wasn't you, was it? That was actually him? Like, did, did no, you meet him? No, no, Okay. He was so done with it that literally <laughs> someone else came and redid it, and he's no longer in the game. Yeah, that was that's interesting. I wonder why... Uh... I didn't like his interpretation of us. It was lazy. <laughs> Very lazy. <laughs> That was a fun story. If you can, for those that don't know, you can look that one up. Yeah, he. Um... Wait, so they they edited him out of the first game? Yes, that... the gentleman. Oh. I believe the gen- I'm I'm blanking on his name, but the gentleman who plays Nathan Drake in all the Uncharted games, of course, took over him in the second game, and they went back and just recorded over Dinklage with him. Yeah, Nolan North or something like that. Or yes, or... that's it. That's yes. the one. He does everything. Yeah, yeah. All right. He's like the James Arnold Taylor of video games. Hey, can, um, again, not to downplay the resurrection because that's great, it's very cool. Can you do other stuff? Can you, I don't know, can you clean the house? Can you change the channel? Can you play music like, like? Are you Google? asking if I'm a remote or a Roomba? <laughs> are you like is a that, Google? Is that are, you, are all machines the same to you? No, no, no. I'm just curious, like if that's you know one of your options. You see, because it's very high tech, very futuristic. You have a lot of cool stuff in you. I can I access other things to do things. I can scan and encrypt onto computers and machines. Hmm. So mostly I just have other machines do it for me. Ah. When you go around the tower, there are very high-tech robots literally just sweeping a corner. <laughs> they can't program to do, do anything else? Well, we just have these robots and, you know... We're going to send the organic things out to die and have the robots sweep the corner. Ah, uh, look. Hey, it's a very clean corner, I guess. Very. Exo yeah. takes his job very seriously. Exo? Is that his name? Well, the one in the corner, yes. 
<laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, I've never noticed that. They're always like, there's always one there just like pretending to serve a drink or something. Or, yeah. Or Sometimes it. I think they just do it so we don't ask them to do anything else. Yeah, they're moving a giant crate somewhere four, yeah, feet, just, four feet away. Just back and forth. Yeah. I never, <laughs> never thought about that. <laughs> and you don't just have a strike up conversation with them. They're kind of stick to themselves. Yeah. They're not really conversationalists. Okay. Yeah. You're just like, how's it going? And they're like, sweeping. <laughs> sweeping, that's it. Do you ever do anything fun out in the battlefield to your garden? Do you ever like try to make them laugh? Or, or you know, like you're you are you are you're you're showing them the path of where to go, but then all of a sudden there'll be a bunch of enemies possibly. Do you ever do anything to Well, a couple of times I've tried things like I've I've floated over to the right shoulder and tapped it and flown off away. <laughs> But it just so happened when he turned that way, there was a, a, a Vex behind him, and he what died, the... and he blamed me. So. I'm so sorry. What's a Vex? Uh, it's the robots. The ancient robots. Murderous beings. Oh, yeah. That's not good. No, I'm not sorry. good so at all. Try to play a little game. A little goof. I was like, whoopsie-daisy. <laughs> Backfired. Well, that sucks. I resurrected and was immediately like, my bad. Yeah, I mean, it, I mean, I guess it hurts, but... If you can bring them back to life, what are they getting all bent out of shape for? Right? Yeah, right. I mean, come on. Right. I was the one who had to find them. Yeah. Does resurre- does resurrection feel good? Do you know, or does that is it kind of like is that hurt too? I don't. I've never actually asked them. Maybe you should. Maybe I should. Maybe maybe that's the issue with my guardian. We don't have mm-hmm. enough communi- personal communication. Yeah. It's just superfluous i fucked up that word <laughs> superfluous <laughs> yes that's the word i was looking for validation a hard, a hard one even for robots to say yes superfluous it maybe should they should have hired noel north to do my voice <laughs> i wish we could get him on uh no offense um <laughs> got completely taken <laughs> yeah i mean you guys should uh you know you kind of it seems like your best buddy is a good buddy cop you and you and your guardian it should be very close but i guess it's the we're- Turner and Hooch. Is <laughs> yes. the emotional connection really isn't necessary in a way? I mean, maybe it would help. I think maybe, so. Maybe I understood him. Like, what if I was like, Bo? What What are you feeling today, Bo? Yeah. Did you see the new Apple TV show? <laughs> no, because in our time, it's definitely been canceled by now. <laughs> yeah, you could, you could be like, Bo, what'd you, what'd you do last night, Bo? You probably know because you're always with him, but just you know, maybe, maybe hear him say it. I don't even know if he likes to be called Bo. Look at that. Wow. I I've, learned, I've learned more about him from you than <laughs> from him. Was, see, that's what we do here. I've interviewed a lot of people. I know how to get to the core. Maybe I, I need a human to teach me to be human. We could, I mean, hey, I have a lot of free time right now. I don't know if you heard, but we're not doing, we can't go out. Oh, outside. 2020 is a bad year. Whenever I go through the, the encyclopedia, I look back. 2020, bad year. <laughs> Does it end ever? Um, I think a little people are putting a little too much weight on the fact that it's going to magically change at eleven fifty nine. Yeah, it's not. It's. it's I don't want to spoil anything, but brace yourself. <laughs> God. Oh man, what um, what are you and Bo? Or I guess uh, any ghost in any garden. What are you looking to? What are you hoping to accomplish? I feel like you have, you know, you 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 know, you have a cause. You want to bring him somewhere, but why? Like, what are you hoping to accomplish? Are you just trying to wipe out all these a- enemies? Are you trying to? Like you said, to, get protect, to, the tra- to protect the traveler. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Like the darkness keeps trying to get it. We're like, get out of here, darkness. <laughs> just, just like, does that help? Yeah, I once yelled at it. It didn't work, but it, no. I guess more metaphorically, get out of your darkness. There you go. <laughs> Maybe get, if you said it more, more, more guttural. <laughs> get out of here. That scared me. If I was an enormous planet. Yes, and a little tiny little metal thing came up there with a deep voice like, Can I hear you? Can you change your voice into different, uh, I don't know. Well, I'm not a Garmin, if that's what you're asking. (laughs) Yes, I'm so sorry. It's almost like racist what I'm doing towards robots. Yeah, a little. (laughs) Are you even a robot? I'm sorry. Well, seeing as in uh, (laughs) Destiny, robot is a race. Okay. Yes. (laughs) Yeah, I was... Oh man, I messed. I should have done the more research. The XOs spelled out XO, not like the little X dash O from the corner. Okay, so like EXO, yes, is different than X dash O. Yes, one See, is a just, number, one is a race. That's just poor writing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yep. Someone else definitely came up with it. I didn't accidentally find my way here now. <laughs> um, 
the thing with the thing with these games, I know it's a good game. I get, it, I understand. The grind really takes a lot out of me. I I I can't do the grind like a lot of people. Like I put seven thousand hours in Destiny. I'm at like six. Um, I don't care about finding these loots and these epic chests or whatever. Like, is it? Is that on me? Is is it is it more fun than I'm giving it credit to? Because I feel like that's a big part of the game is just going on opening up opening up treasure chests. It, I guess it just depends on the game you came up with. It's uh, it, I think people find some happiness in it because mm -hmm. it's the grind in RPG if you love RPG, but oh, also God. you get the first person shooter at the same time. Sure. So it's kind of getting to experience two genres at once. Okay. And if you're not big into one, you're probably gonna get. Uh, <laughs> Real bored, real yes. Yeah. I just hate like if, if I kill 45 enemies, I've died a hundred times. Then it's just like, hey, open this chest, and again, it's like a pair of socks. It's all uh, you know what? <laughs> I think you're looking in the wrong chest. <laughs> if you keep getting socks, <laughs> so many socks, you are not good. Your ghost is terrible. I need to talk to him. <laughs> I don't even know his name, he, would, he wouldn't tell me or her. Wow, yeah, I think you got a defected one. Is it? Do they get defected? I mean, if you travel on for that long, I mean, they can be assholes. I've met a couple of them. <laughs> Maybe it's a software update. There's this one named Brenda Five, and she is the worst. <laughs> she sounds. She sounds terrible. What does she do? That's the worst. Oh, she's always complaining to managers. <laughs> always. It's just like, come on, you could have just. Ask for them to remove the cheese. You don't need to make a dog and pony show out of it. <laughs> and then I'm like, why are you even complaining? You're a robot. Why are you ordering burgers? You don't need cheese. You are doing this for the fact you want to make a scene. <laughs> yes. I feel like we had the same problem down here. <laughs> this is quite performative. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, plus cheese is going to get all over your, all over yes. your part, all over your parts inside. You're going to go gooey. She can't even eat it. She's just asserting some kind of dominance. Yeah, that that that's not cool. You, you can know. learn a lot about how someone treats their waiters. <laughs> yeah, you sure can. Um, when when you're on the ship with your guardian, and this isn't directed at you necessarily. I oh, feel covering like, your tracks now. I feel like you ghost could do a little better mm -hmm. of just telling me where the fuck to go because I will mm. walk around that ship for hours and not know where to go, or what to do. Again, I think you have a bad ghost because usually there's a little like exclamation point marker on your map. Sometimes it's like get... twelve. There's like twelve exclamation. Well, then points. you have twelve things to do. <laughs> Sounds like you're just lazy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which one do I want to do? You know, sometimes there's more than one thing to do in life. <laughs> I think I'm a knockoff brand ghost. Do you wake up and take a Tuesday and then be like, "Done for the day"? <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I wish it sounds nice. Yeah, my uh. My ghost is from Sam Sun, not Samsung. It's oh, a it's a knockoff ghost. <laughs> yes. That's the problem I, I just saw. We're uh, we have we're having lots of troubles with those. Yeah. A lot of like fake uh fake knock news. Knockoff ghost, yes. Yeah. All right. We don't really have fake news. It's one city and we're all under attack at all times. <laughs> that's that's rough. So that's a twenty twenty thing that hopefully you move out of quickly. No one's no one's hiding that you're being attacked. Like you are. Yeah, it's kinda like, attacked. well, we're all gonna die. Yeah, that's how, that's, that's how we feel here. It's a good time. Yeah. Um, all right. Do you have like a human form or can you like go be a human like vision? Is that, or, are you like Jarvis? I'm sorry. Nope. <laughs> okay. I'm stuck in this weird, like complex Rubik's cube thing. It, it's a cool shape. I got to give you that. It's a cool form. Oh, thanks for that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you this long to finally compliment me instead of I'm... just comment on what I am. I'm very sorry. Hey, you could float. You could f not float. You could fly. Yeah, I can fly. Thank you. It's there's a difference. <laughs> there is. David Blaine can float. You can actually fly. David Blaine can trick people. He's legit a magician. He's a hack. What? I, I, I will not stand for this. I hate David Blaine. Great. You can, you can sit in a box of water for 28 hours. Can Great. You? Can you? I can raise people from the <laughs> dead. Well, so he. I think he died and came. He resurrected himself. Bullshit. So look at that. You he's know? full of shit. Uh, I'm more of a Chris Angel guy. At least there's some aesthetic flair there. Chris Angel's all flair. David Blaine's yes. just like, he's like, hey, look at this. And he'll yeah, like, freak. Boring. You know? If you have Harrison Ford tell you to get the fuck out of his house, right. you're in trouble. Okay. Is it Diddy? Yes. He yelled David at David Blaine. Blaine. David Blaine went into his house, did a magic trick, and <laughs> Harrison Ford blankly looked at him and said, 
get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> Did he just walk in like uninvited? <laughs> no, he was okay. invited, but right. then he was invited to get the fuck yeah, out. That's great. I got. I've seen most. I got to look at that clip. I've seen most. I think that's great. Big David Blaine. Big. I, I like Chris Angel too. Don't get me wrong. I just think uh, David Blaine. I didn't know you were such a magician fan. I've always loved magic. I don't care what people think about me. I think it's cool. Um, so back to Jarvis or, or 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 Vision. Do you know those guys? You're not like. I mean, I don't like. Those are comic them. book characters. Well, I don't yes. know. If they seem yes, real. Yes, I do know. I'm, they are real. Oh, I do. Okay. Yeah, it's based on a true story. Yes. Really? Yes. Well, that's great. Yeah. That would seem cool to be to just literally just know everything ever ever. Oh, uh, it's quite a burden, actually. Yeah, yeah. you kind of know what's come, what's about to happen. Like I've yeah. seen this, I've seen this before. Also, you know when people are wrong, and there's that awkward like moment where you have to be like, "I'm sorry, I don't need to interrupt," but um, actually, <laughs> that I, the amount of times I've had to be like, "Oh, I'm sorry, I, I, I don't need to be that ghost," but <laughs> actually, Brenda, that's cheddar cheese. <laughs> actually, Brenda. <laughs> Brenda five. Brenda five. She sucks. Brenda one through four got destroyed in the baseball bat. Was oh, that right? Oh yeah, they're awful. They keep building this Brenda, and she's awful every time. That's not good. Yeah, they gotta do something. You figured they could tweak that in the setting somehow. You'd think maybe not have such a dickhead type of ghost like mine or mine. Yeah, mine's mine's defective or something. I, I mean, know. I don't know. It kind of sounds like you're defective. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not okay. It sounds like he's showing you all the stuff that's accumulating, <laughs> and you're just like, "Well, look at these socks." <laughs> so I can't get over the socks, and do I dismantle it? Do I leave it? I don't know. Sounds like it might be operator error. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll, I'll I'll go back and give another whirl. I'll try to find the next mission, or whatever. Uh, well, it sounds like you have like twelve of them. <laughs> yeah, there's a bunch there. Uh, are they just Every, all waiting? All that everybody just wants your help, and you're just not showing up. There's a lot to do on the ship. They're just like, hey, come talk to this guy. He can sell you a gun. I don't even have enough money for the gun. So I was like, why are you even telling me? Wait, right? you're not even past the point where they're like, this is the guy who sells guns? Of course your ghost can't help you. <laughs> this is one example. I'm just, I remember that one. This is like, I can't even afford the gun. You're telling me to go buy it. Yeah, it, just, to... <clears throat> it shows you what's happening. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What? I, I I need to talk to your ghost. He's probably furious. Yeah, his name's Fred. Just regular Fred, kind of like you. Frederick sounds smarter than Fred. Yes, I go by Frederick. Where right. Fred is Fred is like the John of ghosts. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of Freds. A lot of Freds. But but you know what? He goes by Fr three D. Kind of a dick, you know. Oh, I don't like him anymore. <laughs> a little smug. Oh, he thinks he's outsmarting the system. Yeah, I mean, come on, we know but, it's Fred. Yeah, well, at least mine's Frederick. He has to explain yeah. how his Fred is different. For three... D yeah, you can't even say it that way. It's just silly. All right. Stupid. Um, you've seen a lot of movies. Are you, are, are you a big fan of Ghost with Patrick Swayze? Or even Ghost Dad with legendary comic Bill, Bill Cosby? <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> no, not, no, won't touch that one with a 10-foot pole. Oh, no, yeah. Where would you keep a ten foot pole anyway? Your little small metal thing. I can make it disappear into some like, I I have access to just different places to store things. Oh, I could put it in the ship. Just poof it to the ship. Yeah, you go with the poofing. That's pretty awesome. Poofing is what I do. Poof. <laughs> That's what I was born to do. Poof poofing, it up, Fred. <laughs> poofing for life. <laughs> I want to get poofed. I want to. I mean, maybe we could work something out. Be careful who you say that to. <laughs> put me on the ship. Five don't, seconds. Don't just walk to anyone and be like, I would love a poofing. <laughs> Wait, you want me to do it right now? Um, Maybe. Can you can you do it? Wait, oh, hold on. Yeah. Let's, let, try. let's try. Let's poof me. All right. Just fine, just... <laughs> ah! <laughs> Holy shit. Look at that. That, that was incredible. Don't, don't touch anything. I, I didn't. I, I saw. I, I, okay. I'm already. I saw the guy sweeping. Yeah. I saw. Oh, it, I, just, I saw. Just, I saw a stack of, gone. I saw a stack of socks too. How? <laughs> it's like you. It's like you have like a six cents on socks. I think you put me in the middle of a footlocker on the ship or something. Footlocker. <laughs> I need to go back and check what's going on. What has Xo been doing in my absence? That was. That was. It felt cool. Definitely felt pretty cool. You explain to me how it felt. I'm a machine. I just do I this. Felt, I felt like I got like stretched Ooh. and then smushed back together, but like in an embracing hug. It was kind of like that. 
But we do that all the time for Guardians. If you figure out a couple of your missions, you can get it more often. I'll try to... Okay, I'll leave the gun guy. I'll go to a mission and capture the flag or whatever the fuck. I got it too. I don't know. Um, that was cool though. Hey, maybe after we're done, we're gonna, you know, poof again? I'll poof if, back if, up. If you're up for I, it, yeah. We'll, we'll go to the Sabaro. Maybe Brendan won't be there. So, Brenda. <laughs> Brendan's her awful brother. Just, just as bad. Just as bad. Um... Wow. Yeah. And if if ever if you ever check up on me, I don't know if you can. If you just see I'm just kind of laying around doing nothing, feel free to poof me. I give you permission. We're gonna get together and poof. I have your, <laughs> I have your consent to poof you. Yeah. Surprise poofing. I'm all about it. Right. That's, that's, that sounds great. Wow. Um, we have to go soon. Any other any any of the last things you want to tell the guardians, our fans, or anything out there that that maybe we don't know about you? We learned um, a lot today. Something you don't know about me. Um, let's see. I am a huge fan of soccer. <laughs> Interesting. With no yep. legs, I, w- I wouldn't guess. I am envious that they get, they use <clears throat> their legs so much. Something uh, I shall okay. never experience. Yeah. And they complain so much. <laughs> and, yeah. And you can't, like, like I said, you can't like take a human form or give yourself a body, like a human body for nope. a bit. or no that'll be the one that, like in the next upgrade maybe you can kind of put in a request for that i don't know it might get all weird like that cortana thing yeah, yeah. okay i don't know if i want sexual tension with my guardian well hey don't knock it till you try it i don't understand love but <laughs> i will teach you you poof me i'll teach you love okay, okay. that seems like a fair trade perfect i love it um you want to play a quick game with me before we go sure Let's play a game of Wet Bed Dead, everybody. So, uh, Frederick. Yeah, I'm gonna does g- someone need to be resurrected? Uh, maybe. I'm going to give okay. you three video game characters. All you got to do is tell me who you want to wed, who you want to bed, and who you want dead. All right? Okay. Um, now, this first one, everybody knows him. The world's most famous brother. We got Luigi. Ooh. So, Luigi is a plumber. Uh, that's about it. That's all you want to <laughs> say about Luigi. He wears green overalls, blue overalls, green shirt. You know, he can jump very high. If that's in your wheelhouse there, which is kind of cool. He can do that. Uh, he's a nice, friendly guy. Very scared of things. Very timid. But uh, he's a good guy deep down. That, that, that's that's Luigi. Um, okay. This next one from all these fighting games, a king of fighters, I believe. Uh, my Shironoi. Shironomi. Shironoi, I think it's called. Well, Shironomi Mai is her name. Um, man, she's every incel's uh, dream right here. She, uh, she's got the fan. She's got the kicks. She's a great karate girl, expert fighter. I think she's from the King of Fighters uh, mm. series. Yeah, doesn't wear much. All right, so keep that in mind. Um, and this next one uh, from Final Fantasy V, his name is X-Death. But he can turn into a tree, I believe. And we're going to go with the guy with the form of a tree. Or you know what? The picture I'm showing you here, he's a big, scary-looking motherfucker. Um, I believe he's the main villain. Of Final Fantasy V. Um, X Death. Terrible name. I mean, like, like, if you're a villain, that's a great name to have. So it's like, a, it's a terrifying name. Um, I'm not sure what he does, uh, but he looks really mean. <laughs> okay. Mm, he does so, look quite mean. Yeah. So those are your choices there. We got Luigi, Shiranami Mai, and uh, X Death. What are your choices here, Fred? Okay. Well, first off, I'm going to kill X Death. Oh, right it's away. Weird. I don't need any more armored clad alpha males in my I mean, life. Look I at just, this guy. No oh. more. Yeah. No, it's just toxic masculinity just seeping off this man from his photo. Yeah. Armor, Ugh. swords, everything. Cape. I don't I don't need it anymore. All right. So he's gone. Interesting. Get out of here. Um, I probably bed Luigi. Yeah. Um, mostly because, you know, I love Luigi. I th- I personally think he's <laughs> the more superior of the brothers. Mm, uh, but that being said, uh, I think he'd w- try very hard. He'd work very hard in our tryst. Sure. Uh, but I also cannot be his therapist with his um, his uh, identity issues he has with his brother. I, ca- I, can't, I can't, for hundreds of years, I can't keep resurrecting him just to talk about how he has an inferiority complex. I gotcha. Yeah, I mean, he is superior. I mean, you know what? Luigi's Mansion 3, better than Mario Odyssey, in my opinion. Boom. I'm just going to put it out there, people. Boom. So, yeah. Interesting. Okay. Which means I'm going to marry Mai. 
Yeah. Mai, Mai seems like a powerful person, but she also doesn't seem like she's going to be too toxic. Not a lot of armor. We're not going to have to go hunt around for armor. Not a lot of but, anything. Yeah, but she seems like she has confidence. Sure. So, I not. I, yeah. uh, seems like we'd have to have a conversation. Doesn't seem like she'd be like, little shit, get over here. <laughs> she'd be nice. Yes. That's the only, I so hear I'd, I'd marry her. Great. Very good answers. Um, now, here's the only thing I'll say. If I were to wed ex death like do you want to be the spouse of someone who's control the world and like runs like all powerful being kind of but he's really mean so really puts really makes you think like is this the best thing to do um okay i'm going to i'm gonna bed my let's just get that out of the way i think it'll be very fun it is keep- what it is it is what it is. She'll keep that outfit on because might as well, right? I like it. We'll we'll, she'll, we'll bet her. Plus, when we're done, teach me a few moves. One or two moves. That's, that, that's all I want. Some karate kicks, a roundhouse kick, somersault. I can't do a cartwheel. Something like that, you know? Yeah, it's just basic self-defense. <laughs> just basic. It's cartwheel self-defense, right? Um, And then, oh, boy. It's tricky here with these two. But um, tell you what. Let's wed Luigi. I get to live in the Mushroom Kingdom, right? He's always at the castle. Mario and Peach kind of have their thing. So I think Luigi, by proxy, will be able to spend time at the castle, maybe even live there. He can live in some of the, in a nice room, nice plush room. And yeah, I think I'm, I'm with you here. I got a dead ex death. That's just not, no, because you don't want to be like, hey, this is my husband, ex death. And then just like kills you everybody. Know, how did he get that name? Like, yeah, whoa, come what on. do you think? Yeah. What do you think? Pretty easy, right? So it was the Danish. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna have to get rid of him here, I think. So just the way it goes. Um yeah, good choices there. Thank yeah, you. So, good choices think, to you. Oh, thank you. Um <clears throat> do you as a ghost, like you said, you don't know love. Is is there any I don't know, fraternizing between ghosts or anything or like that? Or well, if there was, it'd be like throwing two Rubik's cubes together. Yeah. Because a lot of clickety clacks. Yeah, that's a ting ting ting. <laughs> if you hear the ting and don't come a ringing. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. So maybe uh, hopefully hopefully you can uh, experience that one day. It's it's, yes. it's not bad. Hopefully there's an upgrade for me one day. The sex upgrade. <laughs> for ghosts. Just an attachment. <laughs> that's all you need. I, just right? need I mean, there's attachments for you guys. We have plenty. Almost too much, some would say. Hey, attachment for everything. Whatever you're into. Yeah, I have lots of recorded footage. <laughs> Wait, of who? Me? Oh, no, of you. I mean, we share it with each other. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, so you you don't mind watching us or and Guardians? Oh no, we're very voyeuristic. Ah, well, that's interesting. Look at that. We're always there, even when we're not there. We've just poofed into a little dimension where we're still there. <laughs> Can you, you give advice on like how to do it a little better or? Uh, we have done one of those kind of like sitting in the restaurant with an earpiece kind of things. <laughs> I don't think they can just hear you anyway, no matter where you are. You're connected yes. to their brain. Talking to them. Yeah. Slow down. Yeah. <laughs> it isn't a race. Seriously. <laughs> oh, man. Frederick the Ghost. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. It was I, awesome. I have never spoken this long. Yeah, I mean, I hope you, uh, you're you comfortable. I mean, it was great. I think we learned a lot. Our fans are going to love this episode, especially with a lot of our Destiny fans out there. Um, woot woot. Good luck with the Traveler. Hope you <laughs> stop it or protect it. I don't know. Protect it. Protect, protect it. it. Yeah. I hope the aliens don't stop it. Really missing just the basic points. <laughs> Seriously. I got ghost, here, I'm seeing why your ghost hates you. Yeah, so, yeah and I, I, I got to go talk to him later. Let's see what the two deals. And if there, anything I can tell them to be like, "Hey, a superior ghost told me this." Blah blah blah. Anything? Just don't use. If you say superior ghost, don't use my name. Okay. At the ghost gonna... Sabaro, it would just be a nightmare. <laughs> Why do you guys? I got a Sabaro so much. Because it's... <laughs> it's so many better places. It's one of the worst pizza places. If we don't eat. We couldn't. Know, we have no way of knowing how bad the pizza is. We just love the matter. idea of being able to hang around a Sabaro. <laughs> It's got a salad bar. Why There's not? like one little ghost with a tiny little like hat on, Sabaro hat, who just floats <laughs> behind a counter, not serving anyone, just for the illusion. Hey, wait, is that where the name came from? Salad bar, Sabaros? Did they just kind of take out the alad 
Samaro? Yes, because they're known for their salads. <laughs> Let's <laughs> name it because of that. All right. I'm going to go look that up. Uh, thank you so much for joining us once thank again. You for having me. Come back anytime. You know what I mean? It'll be uh, my pleasure. I'm going to have to poof you, so I will be back. Yes, please. Definitely. Whenever I'm, whenever I'm just kind of sitting around being bored, which is like every day, <laughs> feel, feel free to poof me. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Frederick. Everybody else, thank you for listening. And we will talk to you all next week. Bye-bye. Today's playable character was played by Andrew Del Vecchio. Find him on Instagram and Twitter at Andrew JDV. And check out his On The Spot NYC comedy show. It's at On The Spot NYC, which is Mondays at 8 p.m. And his band, My First Day Music. That's at My First Day Music. Check him out on Bandcamp as well if you like music.